Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Can you guys hear me loud and clear before I really start? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just uh, write it down in the comment section. So uh, I'll be notified if they can hear you, uh, hear me loud and clear. My voice. Are we getting any comments? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, now let's go to the drums. See if you can hear the drums well. One and two and three and four and. Can you hear this together with the drums and my voice? Are we getting an okay for that? Let me keep on try playing. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear this backing track as well? So, you guys can hear me clearly, can hear the drums clearly. Thank you so much. Okay, before I begin, I would like to start this playing around the drums with, a, with a, a backing track. And from there, I will touch briefly about the drums and also any questions you guys might have. And also, I will give a short lesson that I know that, I can, uh, that, that can help someone to improve their drumming. Okay? Hope you enjoy this one. Just a short introduction of me uh, playing uh, back in track and straight to these drums. There's no any editing. This is right from the module itself. So, thank you very much for your time and tuning in to this channel. Okay, hang on. I've got some comments coming in, but before that, let me just talk about the drums and then I'll get back to your comments and try to answer as much as I can for today. Okay? Now, 
the first thing, what drums is this? This is the latest, the newest drum from Roland. It is called the Roland TD27 KV. Now, what do we have on these drums? What are the specifications? What are the diameter of each drum? I'm going to go just briefly into that. Okay, so this is a five-piece kit uh, with uh, that's two uh, that's hi hat that comes with two parts that you can attach to a regular hi hat stand, and we have two cresses, one being the CY12C. Right? And the other one will be the 13 CY13R. Okay? And then we have an 18, 18 inch digital right, which is a CY18DR. And then coming back to the snare, actually, the snare is PD140DS, which has a 14 inch of uh, diameter and, and uh, four and a half. Uh, deep, right? It has got a three ply massive. Okay, this is also called a digital snare. Okay, now, and then we have a KD10 as my bass drum, my kick pedal, which is a single uh, trigger unit. You can actually attach a double pedal if you want to, but in this performance, uh, I'm using just a single pedal by Alpha Drum Mode. Okay. Now the module itself, it has over it, it, it has a hundred kits, which will be a fifty-five kits will be more of the preset kits, meaning they already have the sound all set for you. All you have to do is just choose your drums and play, and the rest of it is you uh, you getting a, a, a basic drum set, and then you can add in whatever sound samples that you want. And not forgetting. You can also still edit the preset sounds that were already built in for, for us for this module. So that is the basic about the uh, module, and then the playing field as well. Now, let me get to the hi hat. I get two sounds out of this a pad, which would be the bow and the edge, right? And with my foot, I can still get the open and splashes as well, right? We have splashes, and of course, then moving to the cymbals, I can still choke them. Two-way cymbals, meaning I can get one sound from the bow and one sound from the edge, right? That's about the cymbals. Both the crashes work the same way, bow and the back, uh, and the edge. You can, uh, later you can uh, change the whole sound, okay? Moving on to the right, which is the highlight of the drums actually for me will be the right symbol and stand them. So going to the right symbol, uh, it has uh, uh, it has an electric static built to it. It's like basically like like our phones, right? Smartphones where we slide things. They have had the same thing on this right symbol. So with this, I can actually play on the bell. And the edge. And I can still mute it. The coolest part is I can even just put my hands just above it and it will just bring down the volume of the symbol just like an acoustic uh, right symbol can do. So, you see it? Right, even. I can hold it with just one finger, and you can hold it and uh, so I think this is pretty cool. You know, it, it, it really made a lot, of, lots of difference because I've been using a rolling rhythm for a while now. So this is very cool. Now, moving on to the toms. Also, dual trigger uh, trigger sound where I can have one sound on the head and one sound on the ring, right? Ring and the head. So, with the snare drum, it does the same and have the right from the head. So, you can really play from strong. Ring shot, right? Your ring shot. And because I was telling you about the uh, 
electric static. So if I put my hands on the drums, it will automatically know that I'm going to do a cross stick. So cross stick is also achievable from this. This is really good. So hit the rim, cross stick, and just the hit oh, uh, it, the rim itself. You see, you hear the difference. So this makes the playing ability to be to be almost close to as an acoustic, and you really enjoy the sounds in there. And of course, now moving to the bass drum, you can get hit from softer to to more power, and you can also soak the the, the head. It gives you a different sound, right? So with this, you can play basic bass like. So that's pretty much about the playing field, the pads, and uh, some of the the cool things that they have invented in this uh, TD27 module, right? Now, moving along to the next one, I'm going to show you what I did edit with all of this. It does not only let you to change sounds of any drums or percussion that is built into it. You can also load in your own samples. And uh, not even just a one shot sample, but you can also load in a song, a loop, or whatever not. Right? So, in this particular example, I have set a loop on the rim of the first song and another loop going to the rim of the second song. So, the hit is still going to be my tom sound. So, right? Now, if I hit the rim, it will start the loop. like that one. So now this is becoming more interesting because now you can you can have the whole song here if you don't have a STD effect as a sampler pad also by rolling. Now you can trigger your loop section of the songs on any of these pads. Like here you can even loop something on the bell because it has a three way trigger and this is these are two way triggers and two way triggers as well. So Imagine the possibilities you can have uh, with, with this uh, incredible module, Roland TD27. Okay, now the next example I'm going to do is it's uh, I've also I made a sample of assigning assigning uh, a cowbell and a wood block. So in this example, I have my regular tom, and on the ring, I have to pass a wood block, and on this one, a cover, a tip of the cover. So this are fully customizable. If you have any of your own samples that you have, a, a vintage snare drum or something, sample it, and then you can have that sound uh, going on these drums, and you can also have the ability to have both sounds coming together, meaning you can have your own sound plus the sound that in the module itself, so you can sub and have uh, two sound uh, 
together to get a making a drum sound even more bigger. Okay, so so when you have this kind of sound, you you will try to play more uh, precisely, I guess. So you can start up. I remember learning something from uh, Steve Jack's video where he was showing this picking. And if you put it anywhere on the drums and you know what you're hearing, you can have a very somebody feel and, and very percussive kind of feel. So let's try that. Take that and put it around the drums and probably having bass drum going and do the same picking. Okay, so that's a uh, 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 signing percussion hit. Okay, and earlier on I was assigning uh, loops to it. The next one is uh, going to be a compact hit. What this does is I have also actually have another hi hat going on on the rim of the second tom, and here as well. So the, the beautiful part of this, I can open the hi hat with this one, this hi hat. And I can do the same thing with the ring. So with this, you can come up with pretty good. I had stuff, uh, something like this, I guess. You can do many things. There's possibilities for you to, to create. You know, I'm sure there are so many great drummers out there uh, who can play more tricky stuff and more interesting stuff. But I'm here just uh, trying to show what I can do and what you can learn out of it. Okay? So, that's with the two hi hats. Okay? The next one, what I'm going to do is some of the. Um, uh, uh, more electronic sounds. So we have we have uh, this drum and bass kind of uh, drum set sound. So this is very interesting. I like to have different kind of sounds and you try to come up with different kind of uh, uh, drum fields. And not for it, uh, forgetting the TR-808, very famous drum sound, is still very popular till today. So hang on, I've got a message coming in. Okay, the next one, like I said, I'm going to show you the sound of TR-808. So that's the 
Anyway, I, I forgot to tell you. If you see the the view from the top angle, uh, uh, what do you think about the koi fish? Yeah? It's crazy. Actually, I'm, I'm, I I love uh, making jokes. Actually, so if you like the koi fish, it's from my drum student Tavin. He said I should have koi fish as my background, and he's laughing here still. So thanks to Tavin for helping me with this and start to help me with the. Uh, what do you call this? A streaming uh, device that he's using. Okay. I also like to take this uh, time to actually thank uh, Rook Asia Pacific for helping me, uh, uh, for providing this drum set for me, for me to try out and see what I feel. And also to Daryl Pereira holding Simeon Brahat for uh, helping me with the audio tech that I needed. Okay. So that's that. And then uh, if you like the video, guys, Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share to your friends, and uh, see where we can take it from there. And uh, don't forget, I will come back to your comments just uh, after this uh, one more sound example, right? And uh, even if you like uh, reggae, we have a special reggae uh, kind of drum sound. And we have a uh, echo delay happening here. So, Okay, there are the kind of effects that uh, you can have on these drums, and there are many more, which I will cover in my next video if uh, somebody will want to know anything about these drums in detail, so I can probably think of doing a part two of these drums. Okay, now, I want to go to your comments just in a bit, but what are the other important things that we need from these drums? Okay, now, I have, let me go here, okay. I chose a basic drum set sound now. If I want to tune this drum, so what I can do is uh, there is a dial knob here, right? I can just just dial it. Or make it lower. And if I want the palms to be higher. So that goes to all the drums wherever you hit, you directly tune. So there's no more, you know, going really into deep into it, and uh, this are uh, so much easier. Now going back to the snare, I can deep tune the snare, and I can even muffle it more deep. This is zero muffle. So imagine if I tune this thing. And even the size of the high head. So have that kind of feel uh, uh, with the tuning, right? Now, I can also have a, a, a click, you know, metronome is so important, so I just go to my metronome, turn on the, ma turn on the metronome, and you really do like this. You can set your BPM to whatever tempo that you are comfortable, right? And you can have... Um, uh, time signatures, right? And also, uh, you have coach function where you can, it can take you to exercise to doing warm up. So, here's an example of warm up, right? So, let's start this. 
he's going to give me two counts of uh, getting ready, and he goes from 48 and triplet and 16, I think. So. These are all some of the important tools that we need as a drummer, as a musician, right? So, uh, not forgetting the uh, chords, the click, and also built-in songs. You have uh, you have one built-in song, if I'm not mistaken, but the idea is you can also upload any of your favorite songs on an SD card, slot it there, and play it right from the module itself. Or, the more crazy part is if you have a phone that has got a Bluetooth. It has a Bluetooth connectivity built into this. And what it does is you connect your phone to it and go to YouTube and you can do uh, play with all your favorite songs, right? Okay? Now, I'm going to take a few questions and see what they have. So, uh, let's hear the comments, guys. Okay, hi. This is uh, from Rudy. He's asking me how do I set up the whole thing and going live and what are the gears that I'm using if I'm not mistaken. So, if you want to know, uh, this is uh, going right from uh, the studio here. And and also, the the, the drums is uh, actually by Rolling Nature Plastic. You know, my uh, live audio is coming from Daryl Pereira Holdings. And uh, I'm streaming using the road, uh, oh sorry, I'm using OBS as my streamer, sorry, I'm getting the answer from my, from my guy here. So it's running from, uh, from OBS and I'm having one, two, three cameras, one is facing me right now and that will be the top, let's see the top camera. Okay, that's my top camera, and you can see the fish. The fish is happening because I'm using a green screen. So something that I've learned about um, uh, doing media as well. So I learned all of this together with my friend during uh, the beginning of MCO. So you know, so it's fun doing all of this stuff. So all of the cameras are connected to a switcher, which I'm using. Uh, will be Roland VR VES. It's a quite old switcher, but it still does the job. So, uh, thank you for this, guys. So, let's go to the next comment. Okay, next one. Important questions? Any important questions, guys? If you have any questions? Okay, can we? All right. What's the important questions that we have? Anyone asking about the drums or anything that you want to know? Anything? No? If you don't have, let me just finish up a bit more about this drum. So, this has a MIDI in and out and also has a USB connection. You know, by connecting it to a computer, you can get USB MIDI, but also get USB audio. But to, and it allows you to record every individual pad and effect and ambient and much more directly to your uh, door, right? As, as individual channels. So that is also something that uh, many of us like if you want to, you know, use it as a trigger or whatnot, you know. So it works well. Okay, and you can attach foot switch to change between the sounds if you're not going to use your hands. Or you can uh, activate the loop to start or to stop as well. Right? A foot switch. So, is there any more uh, questions, guys? If no, I'm going to give you some lessons for you to think about. Okay. No? No more comments? Okay. Now, the first thing that I used to also practice 
which was uh, known as double stroke. So when I used to uh, play double stroke role, uh, it was it was very tough in the beginning because uh, because I don't have a proper uh, musical background. So everything was uh, more of a self taught, and I and I watched uh, Louis production, one of the uh, the best drummer we have here, and uh, also from John Thomas and you know from Atacam, some other. Uh, local guys who had incredible talent. So uh, I used to we, we I used to practice double stroke roll. So how do we do that? Shall we go to the top channel? And all we have to do is play two right and two left. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, it's very simple, but it's very powerful. Trust me. Uh, in the end of this video, I will show you what double strokes roll alone can do for your groove, for your fields, for your solos. You know. So, remember on my previous live stream video, if you've forgotten to watch that, please go and watch that. On that video, excuse me. You have water. Okay, sorry, that's easy to tell. Okay, all right. So, uh, in my previous video, I was showing you the quarter note, the eighth note, and the sixteenth. So remember this and apply the same thing that you did when when we are when we are, uh, that we did for the sixteen note single, and we use the same concept for sixteen note. Uh, uh, for playing quarter eight and sixteen using double stroke, right, right, left, left. Example: right, right, left, left. One, two, three, four quarter note. One, two, three, four eight note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and so I think you know one e and I two e and I two e and I four e and I one e and I two e and I three e and I four e and I. So you get the idea, right? So what you do, put on your metronome, get the tempo that you want. So in this example, I'm going to use eighty five, right? So from quarter note, eight note, and sixteen note. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, eight notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and six notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and When you get more comfortable with it, try to go uh, 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 for higher metronome. It's okay. Sorry. So higher metronome, and then try to get the, the speed that you like or the speed that you want to achieve. Right. So let's try something in this tempo. So after a while, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. After a while, keep the system going. And be relaxed. Remember to enjoy. And just keep doing this. Right? Trust me, after a while, you will really feel good about it. I used to do this for hours. But if you can spend every day about 5 10 minutes just doing this, you'll get there. Then as we go, 
right? Try to increase the speed. This is at uh, 160. And okay. Try to remain steady. Is this uh, double stroke uh, drum rudiments can do for us? Right. So I used to show some of my students uh, what we can we can do with just double strokes, right? So I I, I used to like to play a lot of the hi hat stuff that uh, that has got a lot of bubbles and, and some tappings going on here. So if I take the basic beat again. Right now, we have just learned how to play a double stroke roll, right? So, right, right, left, left is going to go on the high hat side. Then you try to get more comfortable, and because you got the idea of having the doubles from the high hat, right? Right, you get to a comfortable speed that you like. Remember, speed comes in time, so do not force this. Right, be relaxed, take your time. Like I said, it's not a competition, it's something that you like doing, so take your time, enjoy the process, and you will get there. So, with that, going on the hi-hat, I can make beats like this. Right, that's just the I had thing. Let me get speed to do a snare drum and try to just go between the tones. So, oh, you can do some, like very marky feel. Right, that's just with the snare drum. So imagine if you if we can do double stroke just with the right cymbal and the high hat. Right? So if you forget how to do this right, right, left, left, if you forget how does this uh, this to be played, double stroke roll, just remember this mummy daddy roll. So it's easy. So mommy is right, right, and daddy to mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy. And then keep doing this. Take your time, and and you will get them. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Okay, my my student and this guy is laughing. Okay. So, is there any more questions? Anything that you want to know about the drums or whatever I just taught you guys? Uh, are we getting any comments? No. So far, I guess everyone is enjoying. Thank you very much. So. Let me just play something that comes to my mind now, right? So just using this double to go and playing with some accent. Okay, accent is also very important. What is accent? You play some stuff louder. 
if let's say we take an example with a 16th note, a single, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and These are all same sounds. Nothing is louder, nothing is softer. They are both equal. When you have accents, one should be louder. So let's say I'm going to add, add the accents on the on the first beat. Sound one, right? One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a two E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Then all the quarter notes. We'll get to the comments uh, just in a bit. So, if I just take this as my reference for me to play something on top, right? Not following the structure, just to build some ideas. Improvising. are just some of the stuff that I always do and I, I try to get a lot of mileage out of the same stuff that I'm doing because because I just love it. Okay? So there is the, a basic lesson where you can take a simple double stroke and making it to something very crazy. Right? Even beats like this. Right? 
So, I hope you guys have uh, learned something today. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little knowledge about the drums and something to learn, something to know if you're looking for some um, drums to buy in the future. So, uh, if you have any other comments, any other comments, please don't forget to let me know and then um, I'll definitely get back to you guys. Uh, let's take a comment. I think there's a comment coming in. Okay, uh, there's a comment from Kelvin Dalrice. My, I have, a, I have a comment from him asking me to show something by Toto Home of the Brave. I believe I can't do that right now, but uh, because I don't have the stuff and I don't know if uh, if that part of the audio will be muted for the future by YouTube as well. So uh, I will try and do something with my with the with the. With examples that you want, probably I can post it up on my Facebook or Instagram. So do follow me on my Facebook and Instagram channel. So in there, uh, there I can show you more examples of playing cover songs. Okay? Thank you, Kelvin. And also another question from Rudy. But Karu I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that man uh, who can do the best shuffle in time. But what I know, I was, uh, I was learning doing doing this kind of stuff, so uh, it's based on uh, triplets, so let me get this first, right? Right. So it's going to be based on right, left, right. So right hand is on your high hand, and the snare drum will be with the left hand. So what we're going to do is just playing three groups of notes. So it's right, left, right. Okay? Right, left, right, right, left, right, one, two, left, right, one, two, left, two, three, left, three, three, left, four, three, left, one, two, left, two, three, three, left, four, three, left, right, left, right, 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 right, okay. The snare drum is being ghosted for now, so if you achieve some speed with the same thing, it can be like this. Right? When you get that, just add the first bass drum. One. 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 Right? This is the basic group of how I build this couple group. Uh, of course, I've, I've taken some from Takaro and, you know, uh, but thank you so much, uh, Rudy, for asking that question. Any more questions? Okay. No more questions? Okay. Sometimes what I do with that kind of couple beat, so sometimes I try to just create something. So if I, if I get something like that, uh, I'm going back to my metronome. Right? Let's get this metronome. Okay. And if I just get the tempo about this bit and so.
playing with the metronome, how I build my supper, I showed you guys, and some of the stuff that I do daily to just get, uh, create an idea. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video, and I hope it has uh, gotten you some information that I need to know. Hang on. Okay, I've got a question again from Rudy, asking me what are the differences between the Roland TD50 module and the Roland TD27. The first thing I really want to tell you is the price difference, right? So it is very expensive. You know the TD50, right? And the second thing is this guy is a lot more cheaper. And uh, it is also, but the best part of this module is, it, the sound is actually from the TD50 module. Some of the sounds, I, the, the engine is just, uh, the, 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 uh, the same engine actually. So that's the difference. And uh, there are some features here and there that you don't have on the 50, uh, that you don't have here that uh, a 50 has. All right? So, uh, yeah, price, man. This, uh, because I know how much uh, a lot of people I've seen uh, ask me and I've asked uh, in the comment section of other drummers that I used to check. They've been asking that, uh, they've been telling, complaining that the price is really expensive. Right? I, if I may say something to you guys, I also find this very expensive. I also wish I can own one, but uh, hopefully in the near future. So, what these drum sounds, why are they expensive and all that stuff, I'm not sure, but but these drums, they can do a lot more stuff that, um, that the acoustic sound. First of all, is they are both different drums. I love both the drums. I love both the same, right? The difference between the both. But what these guys can do is I can have a cowbell, I have a conga, a timbale, or whatever the sound. So imagine if I have a small space and I want to play all of this stuff, instead of playing the drums, so if I want to have a conga, how much is a pair of congas going to take? A lot of space and another timbales and, you know, whatever the toys that you may want to have. But with this, I can have each of these drums on all these pads and the ring. So imagine how much of drum sounds and percussion sounds I can have on this module. Okay, so something to think about. So thank you. And uh, I have a question from Ryan. He's asking me about my drumsticks, right? Uh, can we get to the... Top angle of the so this is uh, a signature stick uh, made for me by Alpha Drumworks. Uh, it has a rubber grip to it, so if you have these sweaty hands, then you know it can help you with the grip as well. So this is uh, 5A, and I have another model made uh, with the 5B. Right, the difference is one is a bit more lighter, and the other one is a bit more fatter and and um, and it's heavier. And the tip is the rain, uh, raindrop, teardrop, I think. I saw teardrop, sorry. Teardrop will drop the uh, tip. So, yeah, they are available. Uh, uh, follow me on my Facebook or, you know, my Instagram. I'll put up about, uh, a bit more about my drumsticks so you can purchase them and stuff like that. Okay? Is there any more questions? Okay. I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to this channel. I hope you have learned something. I really, I really enjoyed uh, showing what I can do with these drums. And uh, in the near future, I'll be covering more topics about a, a, another product, not just rolling. And it will be acoustic drums, and I'll get some guest musicians to come up and jam with me in the future. So, and I'll be also giving away some free goodies. So, hang in there. So, it's coming real soon. So, thank you so much. God bless you. Be safe. And good night. Oh, sorry. Uh, where can he buy these drumsticks? Okay, you can get these drumsticks directly from me. It's available. So just leave your particulars to me, and you, I will leave my email address. So you can write down to me, and I will get uh, I will get your email, and definitely to be sending you the drumsticks to you if you like it. Okay, Ryan, thank you. So you guys. Thank you, be safe. Thank you so much.
I hope this Monday blues has uh, gotten you some information. Uh, sleep well and God bless you. Take care. Bye.